in the middle of the war for the great cause, which eventually took the lives of over 600,000. The armies in the conflict eventually grew to over two and a half million federal soldiers and over a million Confederate soldiers. This would lead you to believe that the need for trained physicians and surgeons was great. But, as far as the army is concerned, the need for trained physicians and surgeons was great only to the extent that the surgeon was a man. Some of you think the same. But I can assure you that the young boys of the 52nd Ohio Regiment who had lain on the battlefield of Chickamauga were bleeding and had their flesh and bone torn by cannon fire or by this, the horrible mini ball with wounds dripping with pus because they had lain on the battlefield for up to two days. Didn't care that I was a woman when I tried to save their lives. I often wondered, what if the battle had taken place in Rome, New York, rather than Tennessee? For most of the population of that city refused to seek the help of a woman physician. 